Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in Angular 2. Now what I was going to do is I was actually going to take a whole video at the beginning and talk to you guys about Angular 2, give you guys an overview of it, a nice introduction, but then I was like, you know what, I'm pretty sure that everyone watching this video is already going to know what Angular 2 is and they just kind of want to get up and running and kind of get their hands dirty. So that's what I'm going to do instead. So the first thing I want to show you guys is what you need in order to just use Angular 2. So the first thing you need to have on your computer is Node.js. Now again, I assume that most of the people watching this already have this installed, but if you don't, hop over to nodejs.org slash en slash download and just go ahead and download whatever you know proper version depending on whatever machine you're on. So I'm on Windows, so I chose this. Of course, if you're on Linux, then you can just use the command line. And once you have this installed, it's actually gonna come with a tool called NPM. So this is a tool that you use from the command line and it allows you to download a lot of the libraries and packages that we're gonna need. So after this, what we need to do is we actually need to start making our Angular project. Now I'm gonna admit right now that even to make a very base core project with Angular 2, it's kind of a pain in the butt. There's a lot of files included. However, what I did before the series started is I made this right here. So these are all of the files and packages that you need to just get started and up and running with Angular 2. So if you go to github.com slash Bucky Robert slash Angular 2 template, you can go ahead and download all of these files. So if you don't have a GitHub account, then you can just click this button, download zip, and it's going to allow you to download all the files. Or if you do have a GitHub account, then you can go ahead and clone this or fork it so you have your own copy, whatever. And again, all this project is right now is the most basic Angular 2 project you can think of. Once you have it running, it's just a, a little bit of text on the screen. It says like, welcome to Angular 2 or something. So the most basic file you can have. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit download zip. And once I have it downloaded, I got this right here. So I need to extract it. So once you have it extracted, you're going to get this right here. And for some reason, what GitHub does is it actually takes your files and puts it in another file with the same name. So you essentially have an extra file that you don't need. So again, if you click your main extraction file, Inside here, this is actually the one you want. And you can see when you click this, that those are all the nice juicy files. So take this file and move it to somewhere, either on your desktop or some folder. And you can actually rename this to whatever you want. So let me go ahead and rename it to Angular 2 Template, uh, name it YouTube. All right, so I'm actually gonna move this to somewhere on my desktop. All right, guys, so now go ahead and open up that directory in any IDE that you want. I am going to be using WebStorm for these tutorials. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be using Sublime. You can even use Notepad if you want. I don't recommend it, but again, just any editor, whatever one you feel comfortable with. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through each of these files and directories and talk you guys through what each one of them do. And then you're going to have a basic understanding of all the different pieces of an Angular 2 application. But for right now, just so you guys have kind of an idea of what we're about to do next, if you click package.json, I already wrote all of the dependencies. And if you guys don't even know what dependencies are, they're pretty much just extra files that we need in order for our program to work. We depend on those files. So we actually don't have these downloaded or installed yet. So that's why I told you guys to install Node.js because it came with a tool called NPM and it's a special tool for downloading these dependencies. So you use that tool from the command line and if you're using WebStorm, then you can just pop open this terminal and it comes with like a built-in command line right here, which is pretty awesome. But if you don't, then what you can do is this. Go ahead and navigate to wherever you have your project, and I have mine on my desktop in a folder called Projects, and right here, Angular 2 Template YouTube. Now, a cool little trick is if you're on Windows and you hold down the Shift key, you can right-click and hit Open Command Window here. So that way you don't have to actually navigate to it. So, you know, see if you see you guys like uh, two seconds, but hey, two seconds is two seconds. 
and from here just go ahead and type npm install so whenever you run this command what it does is it actually looks for this file called package.json and it looks through and sees what dependencies you need to have installed so it installs those in this directory right here so it actually made this folder called node modules and look at this how awesome is this tool and that way we don't have to download all of these one by one we do all in one big shebang how easy was that so it's gonna go ahead and download all of those so I'm gonna pause the video and look at that I actually didn't even need to pause the video because it took like <laughs> five seconds but whatever so we have everything we needed installed now I'm just gonna hit CLS just to clear my screen now what I also did is to help us out with development what people usually do is they write a little bit of code and then they save it and then they test it in the browser and then all right working on something else write a little bit of code some more maybe edit some things save it refresh your browser yada 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 well what I did is I actually set this up to use this test server right here and instead of having to do that all we have to do is edit our code and whenever we're working with our project it gets updated in the browser automatically so I already included all of this for your development environment so just type npm start and that's gonna start your development server it's called light server and it's gonna automatically update in the browser so just go ahead and hit start run enter and it actually should pop up in your browser whatever your default browser is so look at that minimize this so you guys can see all right so boom roasted hopefully this is what you guys should see now don't even follow along with what I'm doing right now but I just want to show you guys something cool so I'm just gonna change a bit of text just to show you guys what's going on so I'll change it from angler to template to angler to Bucky and look at this now whenever we go back to our browser it automatically updates so again don't worry about that last thing I did I just want to show you guys that whenever you set up your project in this way it's going to make your development process incredibly easy so in the next video what we're going to do is i'm going to talk you guys through what each one of these directories and all these files are and why they're important so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time